Our goal is time to get a picture for Instagram. Ah, uh, the lighting's too bad. Perfect. Time to upload that image to Instagram. What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to post an image to Instagram with the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. By the end of this video, we're gonna have a script where we can pass along an image URL, caption and similar data along with the image and get that post on Instagram. For this video, I took this picture of me and Bubbles. He was very thrilled to take it and we're going to be posting this image to Instagram. We're gonna run our script and it's gonna give us back an ID of our posts on Instagram. Let's head over to Instagram and see if it posted. Let's head over to my Instagram profile, refresh our page, and there is our post of me and Bubbles, posted through the API with the Instagram Graph API, PHP SDK. We're gonna begin over on GitHub in our Instagram Graph API PHP SDK repository. We're gonna click on the wiki, and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find our media endpoint under IG user. We're gonna click on that, and on this page down a little bit, we see creating an image IG container. Now, for posting an image to Instagram, there's two steps. First, we create the container. Container is where we set the caption, image URL, and some other parameters right here. And then we create that, and we get an image container ID back. Once we have that container ID, we're gonna go back to the wiki, and right under our media endpoint is our media publish endpoint. Here is where we specify our container ID. This is what will actually publish and make the post live on Instagram. So let's start back under our media, creating an image container. Let's copy our code snippet right here and paste that in our editor. So we're using our media class from our Instagram Graph API PHP SDK. And the two things we need in order to use this class are our user ID and our access token. If you don't know how to get these, I have a playlist for the Instagram Graph API PHP SDK, which takes you through step-by-step -step how to do each of these things. Or you can head over to the homepage of the wiki and click on the YouTube tutorial link right here. This will take you right to my playlist on YouTube. Over here on the right, the two things we need are the access token, you see that tutorial right here, and then we need our Instagram account ID, which is right here. Go watch those two things, and once you have your Instagram account ID and your access token, you can plug them in right here. With our config setup, we pass it along when we instantiate our media class. Then we can set our parameters for the container. So the first thing we have is our caption. This is the text that will appear on Instagram with your post. Go ahead and fill that in with whatever you want, and then we move on to the image URL. Now this URL must be on a public server somewhere. What I did is I just threw a picture of meme bubbles up on my server, so it's accessible by the public. Paste your image URL right in here, and that's the image that will be posted to Instagram. Then we have the is carousel item. Since we're not doing a carousel, we can specify this to be false, or we can just delete it altogether because it defaults to false. Then we have our location ID. If you want to take a location, you need to get the Facebook page associated with the account and place that right in there. Also, we're not going to be using that in this tutorial. Then we have our user tags. The tag uses in the post, you just type in their username. I'll put my name in here. And this is a range between zero and one of the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. I'm just going to put mine smack dab in the middle, go 0.5 for the X and the Y coordinate. And you see this is an array. So we could put another user here, just like that. And that is our container params. And then with our container params, we can call our media create function and pass along those parameters. And finally, what we get back from that create function is the container ID. So we're just gonna go ahead and print out our image container ID and we're gonna run our script. So we're gonna hit our igtest.php and hopefully we should see an ID here on the page. There we go, we have a container ID. Now this is not live on Instagram yet because we have to call our publish endpoint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this ID and I'm going to save it in our image container ID comment that out for now. And we're also going to comment out our image container create function again, because we already created the container. Now we want to publish it. Back on our wiki, we're going to head down to our media publish, and we're going to copy this snippet right here. And after our image container ID, we're going to paste it. Here we're using our media publish class, and this also has a config array, which is the same array as the config array for our media class. So we can delete this down here, because we've already defined it up above, and we're passing in our config array to our media publish class when we instantiate it. Then all we have to do is we have to call create on our media publish class. And here's where we pass in the container ID that we just got back. Then we're gonna print out our published post. Now when we refresh this page, we will get back an ID of our post on Instagram. And this time we have published our post so it will be live on Instagram. So over on my Instagram profile, it's not posted yet. Let's run our script here. And all is good. We have a new ID 
and this is the ID of our post on Instagram. Now if I refresh my page, my new post should be there. There it is, me and Bubbles. There's our caption, and if we click on the picture, we should see me tagged right in the center at 0.5x, 0.5y, those were the coordinates, to tag my username. And so that's our post. We have our post ID, uh, the debug array, which is part of the SDK. It will help you debug things if you have any issues, or we didn't have any issues, but we can just look down here and see exactly what happened. In our request here, we have our access token, which is required for every request. The post method, the endpoint we hit was our user ID slash media publish, and the params we passed along was our creation ID, which is the container ID, and our access token. And this is the full URL to the endpoint. But you don't have to worry about any of that, because with just these few lines of code, the SDK will do the rest for you. Now obviously I showed you those in two different steps, creating the container ID and then publishing it, but in a real world situation, we would run them all at once. We would just use both of these classes, uncomment this, we would leave this as it was and not hard code this. And now all you have to do is run the script one time and it does all this in one step. And that's how you post an image to Instagram with the Instagram Graph API, PHP SDK. I hope this PHP SDK helps you guys out and makes it easier for you to use the Instagram Graph API. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.